Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIVS home school this is Shahadadi Akhtar assistant teacher of science of national ideal English version school day shift today I am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students my dear students our today's topic <coughs> chapter 2 broad question answer 1 2 and 3 our today's lecture number 7 and SW number 5 my dear students let's start our class chapter 2 living and non-living things we will discuss today broad question number 1 2 and 3 at first broad question number 1 how many groups of vertebrates are there <coughs> my dear students I am repeating first question is how many groups of vertebrates are there answer there are five groups in vertebrates they are fish amphibian reptile bird and mammal fish a fish is a vertebrate that lives in water and lays eggs example ruy ruy fish hilsha fish etc amphibian an amphibian starts life in the water and then live on land as an adult example frog reptile it has dry and scaly skin and lays eggs on land example lizard snake etc now come to bird a bird has two legs and two wings their bodies are covered with feathers example chicken duck etc now come to mammal a mammal has hair or fur and produce milk for its young example cow dolphin etc <coughs> my dear students i am repeating this question answer how many groups of vertebrates are there answer we know there are five groups in vertebrates they are fish amphibian reptile bird and mammal fish a fish is a vertebrate that lives in water and lays eggs example ruy fish hilsha fish etc amphibian an amphibian starts life in the water and then live on land as an adult example frog now reptile it has dry and scaly skin and lays eggs on land example lizard snake etc bird a bird has two legs and two wings their bodies are covered with feathers example chicken duck etc mammal a mammal has hair or fur and produces milk for its young example cow dolphin etc my dear students now come to broad question number two classify the plant into three groups based on the size and stem <coughs> now uh, answer um, plants can be classified into three groups based on the size and stem they are tree shrub and herbs okay plants can be classified into three groups based on the size and stem they are tree shrub and herbs tree a plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches or leaves example mango jackfruit etc shrub a shrub is a woody plant smaller than a tree example rose rongon etc herb a herb is smaller than a shrub they have soft stems example paddy chili etc my dear students i am repeating this question answer classify the plant into three groups based on the size and stem answer uh, plants can be classified into three groups based on the size and stem they are tree shrub and herbs a uh, tree a plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches or leaves example mango jackfruit etc shrub a shrub is a woody plant smaller than a tree example rose rongon etc herb a herb is smaller than a shrub they have soft stems example paddy chili etc my dear students now come to bq number three dot question number three write three differences between plants and animals answer three differences between plants and animals are given below 
here plants and here animals number 1 a plant has roots stems leaves and branches number 1 an animal has body parts like legs wings and fins number 2 plants cannot move from one place to another number 2 most animals have the ability to move freely and last number number 3 plants can make their own food but animals cannot make their own food my dear students our today's top sw topic is sw number 5 and sw topic chapter 2 broad question number 1 2 and 3 and submit on Saturday. My dear students, our uh, today's, uh, your today's SW topic is broad question number 1, 2 and 3. Hope you have understood our today's topic properly. Keep practicing at home and memorize properly these three BQ. Uh, uh, submit SW regularly. Uh, see you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.